Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Wrestling Federation's Saturday Night Power Slam! Making his way down the aisle, the F5 Tornado, the current reigning and defending Mega Texas World Champion! This man, Big Texas Todd, went down to San Antonio, stepped up to a man named Brahma Bull, the world champion of Bobcat Championship Wrestling, challenged him for the title, won, and then brought the title back here to SWF. And he's told the world that he's willing to defend the title against the Brahma Bull in a rematch, but only if the Brahma Bull has the Brahma Balls to come down to Saturday Night Power Slam and face him for the title. But right now, Big Texas Todd doesn't need to worry about Brahma Bull. He needs to focus on this man, King of the Sting, Murder Wasp, one half of the Apex Threat. And both of these men are the big men of their respective tag teams. It's interesting to see these two collide. It's going to be a mammoth versus a mammoth. Referee Johnny Ovaki rings the bell. Big Texas Todd, Murder Wasp going at it one-on-one. -on -one. The two big men colliding. This is going to be interesting for sure. Irish whip into the corner now. A test of strength between these two Goliaths. Oh, Big Texas Todd fell underneath the bottom rope, I believe. Oh, slap across the chest. You can hear that back in the eighth row. Irish whip goes for the big boot. The murder wasp sidesteps him. Wait a second here. Double arm suplex. What an incredible match we're seeing here so far. One half of the apex threat and one half of the dead man's hand going at it. And folks, it's interesting that these two men are both half of a tag team because I have some great news to announce right here, right now. You've heard it here first, folks. The SWF will be hosting a tag team championship tournament. Eight tag teams, one goal, two sets of titles. The SWF is finally bringing in tag team titles. Just as you've hoped, just as you've asked, just as you've waited and wished for. We are going to have an SWF eight-man tag team championship tournament with the greatest tag teams on the roster going head-to-head, -head, single round elimination until we have a definitive first ever undisputed SWF tag team title holders. And right now I'm going to name all eight of those tag teams that are going to be in this tournament. We're going to start off with the two guys in the ring. The Apex Threat, Killer Wasp and the Murder Wasp. Dead Man's Hand, Big Texas Todd and Whiskey Marie. The Trout Busters, Ed Trout and Brandon Trout. The Hell Spawners, Damien Reed and the Prowler. The Calzone Brothers, Tony Calzone and Frankie Calzone, I'll get back to the name change on that here after I'm done with the list. The Golden Bastards, the Golden Boy, will be teaming up with Von Stott, an unlikely union. It'll be interesting to see how they work together. The Wish Dragons, Yoshi Kushida and the Dragonfly team up. And finally, another unlikely pairing, but they've seemingly set their differences aside for a common goal. They want to be the SWF Tag Team Champions. The Impact Solution, Blue McNulty and Kennedy Sinclair. We had two other tag teams that we wanted, but we only had enough time for an eight-man tournament. Perhaps these other two tag teams could find their way to a tag team title shot in their future. As long as they keep up with their great appearances, do great marketing sales with their merchandise, continue to put on great matches, earn their popularity and spread the notoriety to their name, very possible they could be number one contenders at some point here at the SWF. But those two tag teams that will not be in the tournament are the Deadly Disasters, Hawaiian Steve and Volcano, and Halloween Harvest, the Bloody Butcher, and Jack Lantern. So again, I'll name them one more time. For the SWF Tag Team Tournament, to crown the first ever SWF Tag Team Champions, the eight tag teams are the Apex Threat, Dead Man's Hand, the Trout Busters, the Hell Spawners, the Calzone Brothers, the Golden Bastards, the Wish Dragons, and the Impact Solution. Now, ladies and gentlemen, recently 
Luigi Calzone lost the SWF Heroic Championship to Magnificent Mandy after she submitted him with a figure four leg lock. What you didn't see was after the match backstage, Tony and Frankie Calzone, formerly known as the Calzone Cousins, were waiting backstage for their cousin. And as soon as he walked back there, they shook their heads and they walked away. They've decided to cut ties with Luigi Calzone. They said that he's not as great as they thought he was. They said they looked up to him. They said that it, they got him to the title. That he wouldn't have ever been the champion had it not been for them. He had one title defense and he lost it in his first defense. They said that he was weak and that they were strong and that they were better off without him. And I'm glad that they've seen the light. I'm glad that they see the truth because I think that they are going to soar. And I think that's going to be proven in this eight tag team tournament for the SWF Tag Team Championships. The Calzone Brothers. Let's see how they do without the negativity, without that toxic man hovering over them, pulling their strings. I would say the puppets finally saw their strings and they've cut ties. Oh my goodness, what a maneuver there by the F5 Tornado now going for a pin. One, two, and 2.9. The match continues. Now enough talk about the tournament. Let's talk about the match at hand. I don't know how much longer this is going to last. These two have been going at it. One half of the dead man's hand, one half of the apex threat. They meet one-on-one -on -one for now, but soon they're going to meet in tag team matches. It's very possible they will cross paths in that tournament coming up here soon. But right now, they've got to prove that they can go one-on-one -on -one and prove who the better big man is. Wait a second, double arm suplex almost tosses him out of the ring. You look at these two men there, they're out of breath. They look exhausted, they're winded. Big Texas Todd has him in a dangerous position here, slamming his shoulder right into the abdomen. Picks him up by the waistband. Oh, the discus tornado lariat. Wait a second. Here he goes. Drops him down hard. Could this be in here? Goes for the pin. One, two, and... No, 2.9. 2.9, the match continues. It's not over yet. Big Texas Todd immediately goes right after one half of the apex threat. The murder wasp. Appears to be in danger here. But look at that. He fires back with a beautiful enziguri. Both men down. Both men hyperventilating because they are exhausted. They're stressed out. They don't know what it takes to beat the other man. The anxiety is flowing through their veins. Much like, much, 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 so much like the sweat dripping off of their skin. There's so much energy radiating off of them. There's so much energy flowing throughout the crowd. It is electric in, his, in this building here tonight. Wait a second. Once again, hits him with the F5 tornado. But he's not done there. He's not going for a pin like he did before. And I think he's paying the price with that plethora of kicks there by the murder wasp. Beautiful moonsault going for the pin. One, two, and three. Oh my goodness, that moonsault from the big man did it. He put him down. Will that happen again in the tag team tournament? The SWF Tag Team Tournament coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time on Saturday Night Power Slam.